morning guys so I had to post a YouTube video because I'm banned from doing live videos right now all because I had a Michael Jackson song playing in the background yesterday anyways I'm here to talk to you today about power hour and fitting that into your business I feel like power hour scares people like you have to sit down for a whole entire hour and be non-interrupted and I came here to tell you with three kids that is not possible with me so I'm just going to give you a few tips that have worked for me and have always helped me hit success club every single month uh, for almost three years so I'm just going to give you a few tips I do the miracle morning I know a lot of you know all about that I'm not going to get into that but I do get up earlier especially when I know that I'm not going to have any other time to do those things I will tell you I can knock out 15 messages on my list, on my TMZ list, I can knock out 15 messages as I am taking my kids to school. Power hour does not all have to be in an hour. If you're like me, I fit in little pockets of time that work for me. So on my way to school, which is like 10 minutes to drop off Bentley, I am either doing my personal development or I am knocking out a good 10 to 15 messages with the voice messenger app because Lord knows we can't text and drive and you do not want to see that with me, but I am sending out voice messages and inviting people to my accountability groups, the coaching opportunity, my coaches, just seeing how they're doing or, you know, saying, Hey girl, like this is an invitation to me. Hey girl, I just, uh, I seen your picture the other day. Oh my gosh, your daughter is getting so big. How are you doing? You look so great. I just wanted to say hi. That is an invitation, guys. That is building a connection. You don't want to send them a message and say, hey girl, I am having a challenge group starting tomorrow. Would you like to join? Like they're not going to respond back to you. Now, if it's somebody that you have been talking to for a very long time about joining your challenge group, I might send a message like this. Hey girl. Um, I know since we have talked about this, I am starting a new accountability group and I thought of you because we have been talking about it and I let them know this is why I'm thinking of you so they don't automatically think, why is she messaging me about a challenge group? I say, because we've talked about it in the past, I want to message you and just, you know, invite you to my next challenge group. Is this something you would be interested in? When you're doing those invites, Remember, start with a compliment and end with a question. If you end with a question, they're more than likely going to get back with you, and also if you start with a compliment. So remember that. Start with a compliment and with a question. They love hearing your voice. You've got to get over that talking on the phone because that has helped my business so much, talking through the Voice Messenger app. Send out 10 to 15 messages on my way to school, on my way home from school, bam. I have like already messaged 20 people in less than 20 minutes, right? So that is part of my power time. I'm obviously not sitting at a desk and messaging people and telling my kids to go away because I need this hour. It is on the road. I'm messaging people. Um, then during, if my kids are napping, when they go down for their nap, I have had to really train myself to not clean house to not do those things, I set my timer on my phone for 45 minutes. The reason why I do 45 minutes is because Shalene Johnson said, um, your brain, like, honestly stops functioning after 45 minutes. She was like, when you're doing your power times with any business, sit down for 45 minutes, then get up and take a 15-minute break. So that has helped me so much. So if they're napping, I will sit down at my desk. And I will set my timer for 45 minutes. And guess what? I will open my Teamsy. I will turn off Facebook notifications. I will turn off my Messenger app so I'm not interrupted. And I will message all of the people that I need to message for 45 minutes. Now, when that timer goes off, I'm done. I am done. I'm going to take a break and go on, move on to something else. So, setting a timer for 45 minutes has tremendously helped my business so much. Maybe you can't set a timer for 45 minutes. Maybe it's 10 minutes at a time for you. Maybe it's five minutes at a time for you. Whatever that is, make sure you fit it in. Now, like Monday was a really crazy day for me, and I remember thinking, how am I going to get this in? And, of course, I did. So when the kids were in bed at 9 o'clock, I told my husband, I'm going to set 
I did. I set my timer for 45 minutes and I got my butt to work and did nothing but TeamZ or whatever tracking system that you use. Another tip when you're messaging people and you're on your timer, don't message them all back. It's like, say you're messaging 15 people and like all of a sudden they're all messaging you back. Do not get back to those people until your next power time because you're on a mission to get all of your invites out, right? You have 45 minutes. You're on a mission to get those invites out. Now, at your next power time, that is when you're going to go back and go through the messages and reach out to the people that messaged you back. I hope that makes sense. That has helped me so much. Another tip that I have, and, and you can find out your little way, but staying home with my kids is crazy. And I have to go pick up my son at 3 o'clock from school. So I have quickly learned that 2 o'clock is like my kids are tired and they're grouchy. So I get my kids in the car and I leave that much earlier to go pick up my son from school. All because of this. I get them in the car, put them in their car seats. I know they're probably going to fall asleep. If, they, if they're not, they're going to be really quiet and they're just tired. And then I will sit at the school parking lot for like 45 minutes doing another power time. And that might not be inviting people necessarily. That might just be checking in with my team. That might be doing a live video. That might be um, doing my personal development if I have missed that. So like that is my precious time between two and three. I can knock some stuff out. I am telling you what. So guess what? When I use those times instead of scrolling the news feed and, and checking things that don't need to be checked, and I have focus, I have my Teams be open or my list, whatever you use, and you are on a time limit, I can tell you what, you can knock some stuff out. So use what works for you. If you have 10 minutes while you're waiting on your kid at school and you're like in your car for 10 minutes, oh my gosh, guys, you realize how much you can get done in that 10 minutes. Maybe you're waiting on a basketball game, football game, and you've got 10 minutes in the car. Instead of scrolling your news feed, and don't lie and say you never do, because we all do. I catch myself doing it too. Stop and get to your list and use those precious pockets of time. As mom, as full-time, you have another job, whatever that is, use those pockets of time. And if you set a timer and you have your scheduled time out, you are not going to be stressed, guys. Um, I can promise you, your life will be so much less stressful. Like, it just will be. So set the times that works for you. Like I said, voice me I use the voice messenger app as I'm taking my kids to school. And then when I go down for a nap, I might do another power time. I will set my alarm for 45 minutes. Maybe it's 10 minutes for you. And then as I'm waiting on my kid at school, that is when I will go and do what else I need to do for my power hour that is not done. I hope this helps, guys. But number one, turn off your notifications. Turn off the news feed if that distracts you. I know the people that are on my news, I know the people that scroll the news feed because they're the ones liking my posts all the time. Like, I'm not to be rude, but I, I am very careful not to let myself get on the news feed because it's distracting and you have a mission and if your why is strong, you're going to keep your blinders on and not worry about what anybody else is doing and you're just going to keep moving forward, keep trekking along. One other thing guys, and I'm going to tell you right now, there's a lot of people in here and that are not putting their tracking list, a picture of their tracking list. And that is so important, and I'm going to tell you why. These kind of groups is what's going to push you to diamond and, a, and beyond and above. And I have made it a mission, thank you Christine, I have made it a mission that I'm going to do this no matter what. Even though, you know, I've ranked up to five star diamond, I don't care. I can lose all of that if I'm still not doing what I'm supposed to be doing, right? Just because you're five star, 10 star, two star, one star, doesn't mean you can stop doing what we have to do. We still have to do the same exact thing. So this has kept me accountable every single day. Like Monday night when I was too tired, I'm like, oh my God, no, I have to do my list because I have to have proof that I did it. If you guys are not showing your tracking list, you're only hurting yourself. Show your tracking list, please, because that these are the kind of things that are going to change your business. And get rid of excuses. 
Get rid of excuses. I mean, if you're really struggling with, with excuses, get the 10X rule or find a book or Audible that is going to motivate you because, guys, excuses are hurting nobody but yourself. So I hope this helps, but use those pockets of time. Set your timer. Get off the news feed. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, I probably went over my time. So I will talk to you later.